Dell's updating their popular XPS 13 laptop. We're going to show you what's new. Stay tuned. So here it is, the Dell XPS 13. It is the upgraded version. I actually have my old version right over here. And on the surface, they look exactly the same. And that's actually really a good thing because why ruin a good thing, right? The XPS 13 is one of the best received laptops of this year. And Dell has basically just tweaked the formula a little bit. So for instance, there's a new processor here. We got the new Intel Skylake CPU that's available in Core i5 and Core i7. It's also a Core i3 version. They also upgraded the internal memory, so now it can go up to 16 gigs if you so choose during the configuration process. There's also now a PCIe uh, system for the SSD drive. And that, we're told, gives you about a 20% increase in performance. So we'll have to actually see if that's the case, but PCIe is no joke when it comes to storage, and we're really glad to see that brought over. Otherwise, though, you still got the new uh, Ixeo panel with the Infinity Display. It comes in a 1080 version. That's a full HD, and that's matte non-touch. But you can also go for the full QHD+, Plus, which is a touch screen, and that's also glossy. So they're keeping that differentiation there, but it's really good for the product price points because you get a lot of uh, variation there. Really good device. The other thing that they changed out, going to the side here, is going to be... You still have your USB port, but now you have a USB Type-C Thunderbolt. So that's going to be the full spec version of the Type-C plug, and we're really glad to see that there, uh, making this device a little bit more future-proofed. Other than that, though, it is still the same chassis and the same quality. There are some other little tweaks, including the touchpad has been updated a little bit, uh, and they're continuing to evolve that to bring it in line with people's expectations. And the battery life is supposed to be really exceptional on this. We're talking the Core i7 is supposed to get around 11 hours, where the Core i5 with the full HD should push around an amazing 18 hours. We'll have to, of course, test that out. But seeing as the original XPS 13 did very well in our battery test, we expect something similar here with the improved Skylake chipset. But there we go. Stay tuned for our full review in the coming months for this device and tell us what you think. Head to Windows Central for more information. Take care, everybody.